This is Japanese money. One yen. This is all I have from my mother. I'm one of the ten siblings. I'm the youngest. We were farmers in North Korea, Changsangi, before Korea was divided. When the Korean War broke out, then started coming the American or United Nations fighter planes and dropped the bombs. When they passed by, I was happy to see them because, oh, they are on our side. But second thought was, well, they would know what I am, so they can drop a bomb on me too. Then, end of November 1950, my mother said to me, go to your sister's home. I asked, aren't you coming with us? No, I'll come there tomorrow morning. We walked there. I was 12 years old, and I did not see my mother after that. We heard artillery noises from not far. We left and came down toward the south. We just walked 50-some days. And the road was packed by refugees. Every night I cried because I missed my mother. 12 years old boy, last boy. I always slept right next to my mother because my father had passed away. We came to Daejeon and that was end of our journey. I entered junior high. No one picked on me, but I was not one of them. I tried to speak their accent. <laughs> Eventually, I, I made it, you know. I heard that armistice was signed in July 1953. You know, armistice was something happening far away from me. We didn't have any special ceremonies or special gatherings. I don't remember that. When I was a senior year in college, I didn't see much future for me in Korea. So I decided to go overseas. I chose America. I came here as a student. In 1965, I had only $50 in my pocket. So many times, I dreamed about my home village. We had four siblings in the north, five siblings in the south. I started thinking about their ages. They were approaching 80. These pictures are when I was in North Korea. It took about a couple of hours driving from Pyongyang to my fifth oldest sister. All of a sudden, the uh, car stopped. Mr. Won, your sisters are here. And they were strangers. I couldn't recognize them. And the uh, fifth sister brushed here with a hump palm. I didn't know what she was doing. I have a uh, colleague and Apparently, they remembered that I had it, and they were checking whether I was a real Dok Jung or not. I was happy, of course. It was so long desired. This photo is uh, with a uh, three sisters of mine and a brother-in-law was uh, alive in front of uh, my mother's tomb. I was uh, freed from question I had. They told me why my mother couldn't come the morning she promised me. She was 
on her way, but apparently the soldiers, enemy soldiers, blocked the road. So there was no other way she could come. So she turned around and stayed there. I live freely and happily, but I could have been happier if she was not left behind. We all knew we wouldn't see each other again. This is uh, my last meal with my sisters in North Korea. This is North Korea side. This is South Korea side. And this is my brother's place and my siblings in, in South Korea. North here, South here. 